we had mentioned smart glass a little bit earlier. We did. And uh, definitely want to take a little time to go over that. We have We to. saw some integrations in the games, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, we saw a lot more with Xbox Live. We know what it is now, mm-hmm. as opposed to last night where we had no information uh, other than... Other than what other people like us had conjectured. Exactly. Yeah. Now we know what it is. It's an extension and a major enhancement of Xbox Live to the nth degree. Now, a lot of people looked at it and said, no, that's really not exciting. I can't really justify that. And we mentioned last night, well, the average consumer could use it. This person Mm -hmm. could use it. We were all wrong, really. We really were. To a degree, it's kind of what it is. It's taking the phone and your tablet, these things you have with you all the time, and then allowing you to be more immersive with those things using them as you're watching tv a lot of people in in reports said uh when you're watching tv you're doing something else anyway on your tablet Mm -hmm. why not connect the two together and that's what they're doing here with smart glass and all that and have a couple of digs at apple while you're at it apple basically saying well you already have a phone you know you already have a tablet you already have an xbox so why, um, why not make them all work together? You don't mm-hmm. need an eighty-six thousand dollar TV. I think Scott well, that was the number from Scott over there live blogging. Eighty-six thousand dollars for the Apple TV uh, after inflation or whatever it may be. And the interesting thing here is it'll give you more content without interrupting the show or the movie you're watching. It just right. gives you more stuff. For example, they were watching a television show. Uh, it's a sci-fi kind of show. It took place um, in a separate world universe. A uh, different planet, I'm assuming. And on the tablet, you were actually able to see information about where the characters were yep. on a map. Uh, Which is so awesome. it gave a whole other context to the show without actually interrupting. Right, because you don't have you to look at it, it which right. is great. And still, you can take that content from your Windows 8 tablet and move it to your TV and back, mm-hmm. which is good, too. All controlled via your Xbox. What I noticed, and you mentioned Apple. Yes. You mentioned an Apple dig, whatever the well, case may be. Because it's what they did. <laughs> did we miss the dig at, at the Wii in the Wii U? Oh, nope. <laughs> um, that uh, one didn't didn't get uh, get by pretty far. Wii U is, we're going to see more of that tomorrow at the Nintendo press event. Microsoft pretty much made that not a non-issue now. That's an irrelevant thing. We mm-hmm. don't we don't need that. We have, you have Wii U here. And you... You have a tablet that you can do your stuff on your TV with because we you specifically said eh this isn't made as a game it's made as an accessory to your gaming experience you can do more things on it mm-hmm. this isn't a game it's a tablet you already own you can use any tablet you don't need to buy the specific Wii U one so this isn't just a shot at Apple shot at Nintendo you don't you don't have to buy some special gaming tab- tablet from GameStop right or, or anything like that you know you can just have a ordinary tablet <laughs> Um, that emphasizes your Xbox. So I mentioned it in the live blog. I said, the devices all say, with Xbox, we work together. Play on Wii. <laughs> yep. So that that in itself is awesome. The ability to seamlessly transfer data back and forth mm-hmm. and then take it to the level of, okay, provide you more info down to your tablet or smartphone or com- whatever you're using. Now we saw a lot of this with the Xbox Companion app on the Windows 8, on the release preview and on the consumer preview. Mm -hmm. You could turn on your Xbox, access your movies, turn on the game, control your game. You could do all these things through through your computer, which was awesome. That was just a small glimpse of what we actually are going to see with Smart Glass. Mm -hmm. And I like that. We already knew it existed. We just had no idea. It is the same thing except taken to another level, which is just a fantastic way... For Xbox to go, you know what? We don't have new hardware. That's okay. We don't need new hardware because guess what? We just replaced the Nintendo Wii U. Done. <laughs> you don't need to buy it now because it's here. And you actually can play games that are in HD. And we have 35 million media partners. Have at it. 